<laughs> lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first try. Right. Good afternoon people, the phone started for me, isn't that good? Right, we are going, Paul, rate my beer, Michelle hiding in the corner there, can't do a pour, typical woman, lucky they serve some purposes, should we say? Not very many, but a few. Anyway, enough about women, let's not spoil the moment. You lucky Norman Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, as I just showed you in the picture, we're doing goza. We can't find the glass, can we? Nope. It's done a bunk, or well, one of us has broke it, probably Michelle. Um, this is about, I don't know, about before then, another staggering a beer wolf price hike. Um, was it 9.99? I'm sure, I can't, I can't remember. Uh, comes in at 5.2% ABV, I remember. We've had this on the blade, both types, but we did have it on the Gosser, but um, on, the Gosser, on the sub. We did have the Gosser on the sub, but that was um, a long time ago when the sub used to be in the kitchen. Before this bar was even built, even this first bit. You wouldn't remember, would you? I don't remember. No. Um, one of Austria's finest, it's known as. I couldn't tell you. Could be the end of an era, this one, because with the price hike, we've had a chat this morning, and that's the first one. Bonjour. So, unless something exceedingly mad comes out. Oh, blimey. Whew. Must have been the Royal last night. But yeah, let's give it a go. Anyway, let's give it in. There we go, here we go, see? Oh, they're not letting you miss a thing. Easy. Pretty chilled keg, of course. And it's bonjour time. Right, I'll pour a little bit out, just to get rid of the access. But as I say, um, having to order eight torps to avoid the eight pounds postage, blimey, well, that's a pour and a half, isn't it? Kind of gives you that, doesn't it? I mean, we've reviewed over 50 kegs. I have to say, um... There are some really good beers on this machine, but like Paul says, ordering eight torps, some of them have just been very mediocre for the price that you have to pay. So yeah. Some of them get oxidised. Oxidised, yeah. Before we have a chance to well, drink them. We've had that a couple of times, haven't we? Yeah, but in all due honesty, I'm a PD man, as you know, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but Beer Wolf have been good, especially on the last time. It's annoying because you've got different Weizen beers. It's kind of, but it's like the blade's too big, that's too small. Yeah, what comes in the middle? A perfect draft pro. I have with, to agree with you there with I'm temperature control definitely. and you can change them around. And you know, anyway, we're going to use a pour down the glass because that's what we were going to review, and then we had a change of plan. But I mean, for what you pay for these machines, don't get me wrong, they are a deal, aren't they? Oh, god, <laughs> right? Okay. We have poured a moulder, and I even did the access bit. You see, the problem is, when you're paying for these torques and they start doing that, well, it's not my fault, how well can I hold the glass? This is the exclusive five-finger head. <laughs> As you can see, it does look kind of cloudy, doesn't it? And it is cloudy. Yeah. yeah it's unfiltered, so it's got cloudy appearance. I was never a great fan of either of them on the blade, was I? But you was really into one of them. I can't remember which no, one it was. No, I can't remember which one. I think it might have been. I don't think we'll do a picture of that. <laughs> I think we'll, I think we'll, um, we'll leave that. Okay. I'll, I'll find a thumbnail online. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's just move you around a little bit. But yeah, as go. I say, we, um, you know, who knows? The sub's not going anywhere in a way because every time I get rid of something, we sold them before and they've gone and bought them again. No, my last sub uh, died in a fire. Oh, that's true. That yeah. Broke my heart. That yeah, that, that was, was a nice one. one yeah. Never so, mind. Okay, so on to this now. Yep. As we said, 5.2% ABV, costing you about two and a half quid for a European pint. I'll let you go first. No, you are definitely going first with all that foam on top. <laughs> you can have the foam moustache on them. <laughs> I can't 
can't smell anything. No, I don't think you're going to get a lot of aroma with the no. thick head on it. It's some dodgy barber, isn't it? You can't I get know. a staff around here, can you? You just can't. Should let a woman pull it. <laughs> 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 oh. Did you nearly choke on that? <laughs> She's trying to kill me now. Do you see what I mean? They're like, for fuck's sake, people, help me. <laughs> Well, I was a bit brave earlier. We should remember that later once we've had a few. Yeah. Do you know what? Yeah, that has got a really nice, rich, malty. It's kind of a soft, malty, biscuity kind of smell. I've got to say that. And I'm getting some fruit in there. Okay, right. Yeah, be interesting to see what you think. I think it's different to the Blade 2, but it's been that long ago. Yeah, this was the one I liked. And this is the one that's more meant to be like a bison beer. I think the only way that you're going to say that that's oh, oh. like <laughs> I've been really bad for the juice to keep having this one today. Um, I'm still not the only, the only way that you're going to describe that anything like a bison beer is that it's cloudy and it's unfiltered. The taste for me is nothing like it. Um, it has got that really nice soft malt that travels through onto, um, it's almost a herby kind of finish on this. I'm not sure, you know. I like that more than I liked it on the blade. <laughs> Stop waving your hands well, back well, she's, sta she's standing there on the last one going, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, okay. I'm not sure, but it ain't bad. I wasn't expecting a lot out of this, if I'm honest with you. Um, but that's got it's got a really nice aftertaste as well. Yeah. I can't put my you are you are getting some softness, a slight fruitiness. Um, I'm getting quite a herbal kind of finish on this. It's a bit it. herbal. It's a bit. It's not sharp, is it, or anything? No, like there's no sharpness. There is a slight bit of bitterness in there. Balancing everything it's out, nice. but yeah, that, that works well for yeah, me. It flows through mm. kind of like really well because I said to her, but this one's the last one. We did this one yesterday, I haven't shared it yet, but by the time you see this, I probably have shared that. We did that golden owl, and that was obviously we didn't finish the talk, hence why it's falling all over me. But it was drinkable, but it was nothing out of this world but it was what it said yeah it, and you it can't was definitely take that away from it whether it's to our taste or not if i was reviewing idle vice for argument's sake on the sub it's always going to be a nine all day long for argument's sake because it's that good mm. paul anna when they get it right is pretty good as well but that's with me into my bisons but this is it's kind of creamy yeah smooth it has got smoothness to it and it runs through it has that nice small taste there's a little bit of fruitiness in there. There's that nice herby kind of finish. This is really refreshing. Mm. Yeah, just tastes good. better than it did to me last time. Round on the blade. I wasn't impressed, but luckily Michelle sorted out the keg. With 14 yeah. pints in a couple of nights. Where did she put it? <laughs> I don't only know. God knows, you know. Some of us get lucky, some of us don't. I kind of take it for both of us, I feel here. <laughs> But you know that's exceedingly nice. I that is, didn't that think is I was good. Gonna, I thought I'd have preferred the golden hour, which I scored at a seven because uh, the reason I scored mm. the golden hour at a seven at least because it was what it said. Yeah. Knowing the old yeah. school drinks and that. But this, this has exceeded that. Mm. This yeah, is, this, is, this is one of the I'm better liking that more, Definitely. Makes me think whether I should give the blade one another shot now because that is mm. good. Yeah, I do like that. I, that is very easy drinking. Um, That's a definite find, yes. Find me. my scorecard. Yes, I'm giving that a definite yes. I like it. I would definitely drink it again. Um, I'm going on a break my beer. beer. <laughs> I'd love to know, so you put yours up. Yeah, that's a good day. It's, it's a very nice drink. Very that is really... I didn't see this coming, I must admit. I was quite... Stunned. Yeah, you was quite sceptical about this. You didn't think you were going to... I didn't it, enjoy did it on the blade. I'm sure we reviewed it. And I was like, oh, but that, okay. that's top draw. And that's a definite eight, two and a half quid a pint. The only problem is, like I say, they're putting it up again. You know, oh, I'm not going to go into it all about that. I'd consider this on the blade, definitely. Mm. So there yeah, you go. Would... Things okay. change, you know, people change. Indeed. So, right. <laughs>
enough from us. I will say thanks for watching if you got this far. What can I say? Bonjour. See you next time.